My accessories. Everything a girl needed to claim victory in the battle for love. My bolt-action hunting rifle with a gorgeous walnut stock. Deadly. And looks good doing it. <laughs> Just like me. My trusty 12 gauge, fully automatic. Extreme circumstances call for extreme shotguns. I was finally ready for a night out on the town. With danger. There was no time to waste. The shortcut through the boatyard was the fastest way to my rider's mansion in the woods outside town. was my moment, my chance to save the rider and make him realize how much he needed me. And if that's not love, I don't know what is. was leaving my old life behind, like a body left to sink in a lake so no one finds it. Nothing would get between me and my future with the writer.
Who the heck is that? I knew you'd come to his rescue. Who are you? And why do you look like a slightly less handsome version of my writer? Oh, don't you ever compare me to that worthless hack. Sure, I may be his wild and rebellious estranged twin brother, but we can't all be perfect. I had no idea he had a brother. To think there were two of him all this time. After today, there won't be. No more writer, no more books, no more living in his shadow. But you're his brother. I'm sure you two can talk it out and realize you have so much in common. And after you change, you can move in together. And I'll come over with popcorn for movie nights. He had his chance for popcorn and movie nights, but he wanted to keep everything for himself. Too bad. You know what they say? If you can't join him, beat him. What did you do to him? I locked Mr. Fancy Pants up somewhere you'll never find him. You won't get away with this. I'll stop you. Babe. I got an army of people that hate that hack almost as much as I do. They're ready to die if it stops him from writing another crappy book. What do you got? I have a shotgun! Well, I got a... Wait, is that... That's a real shotgun? Okay, I admit, that's a... I didn't expect that. <clears throat> but it doesn't matter. You can't stop all of us. Only a monster could be blind to the poignance of my writer's book. And there is only one way to deal with monsters. my gun up. My writer's jerky twin had him locked up somewhere, like a sweet, helpless prince locked in a tower. But his fan in shining armor was on her way. Luckily, one of those haters had made a hole in the fence for me. Ah! 